Yeah, so we came over in 2017. Um, yeah, sort of started falling out of favor at the at the national side in South Africa and um, yeah this opportunity came along and it's something I've always wanted to do is come over um, and play in the Premiership or play abroad um, yeah then came over obviously a bit of a culture shock and and weather wise and all that type of things but um, learned so much while I was here um, I, I said it a few times um, it's definitely been life-changing for me um, not even in the playing side, but just becoming a, a better man and a, a better friend. Um, well, I hope so. But um, yeah, it's been it's been life changing, and I've I've really enjoyed every minute, um, even through the tough times. Um, I, I think it's made me grow a lot, and um, yeah, it's a lot to be thankful for for the club. And um, yeah, I think it was uh, the right time to to make a move, and and it's turned out pretty good. Um, I think. Dimes was, was great for me personally and um, he really recruited a great squad um, of, of players and um, you know, Al stepped in into a great side and, and he sort of just uh, made us better and fine-tuned us a bit more. Um, I enjoyed both of their, their characters, they, a character in each, each, um, each of them are, are their own specific person and um, I think they, they're great characters and they both um, Dimes left his mark on myself and a lot of guys in this squad and I think uh, Alex is slowly imprinting that as well. So. And you, and you've spent five, six years here now. Um, what, sort of, what highs and lows of your time here itself? Um, not a lot of lows. I think the, the big one was obviously... What I can think of now is through COVID times, not seeing parents and um, family and friends for probably more than a year, not being able to go back home just for a visit. Um, highs is just every year consistently improving. I think this is the first year we've probably not going to end up um, improving on last year, but I think from the year I got here we improved every year. So that was great and, and guys making English, playing internationals, guys that, that came from nowhere and sort of got the international recognition, which is always good to see. Um, and yeah, like I got engaged here. I won a World Cup while I was at Sale. I bought a house here. Yeah, there's so many positives that, that, that came from this, this experience and it's sort of just all the negatives from it. Just I don't really think about that. I just thought today what, what I've achieved while I was here and, and um, some amazing memories. Yeah, so a few big moments was obviously um, winning the Prem Cup, uh, get a bit, bit of silverware for the club which was very, very important for us, for us as, as at that stage. Um, and then I, this, I, I mentioned there's a game we played Saracens where they probably had their full international side back at the AJ Bell and um, we pulled off a great win. That was just one of the, the best games I was involved with in a sale jersey. And then recently playing Bristol with, I think it were 12 or 13 men on the pitch, um, just sort of seeing how that brotherhood came out and, and how we started playing for each other. Um, I never really get my memories on the back of wins. It's more the feeling you get on the pitch and, and that was really special to see how the boys were just giving everything for each other um, and for the club was, was really spectacular to see. What's the one thing you'll miss about being a sale living in the UK? I think I'll, I'll miss the boys, the camaraderie, um, the friends I've made here. Yeah. Not at the club, but people I've, I've met outside of rugby. Um, Sale so gave me the opportunity to meet some special people. Um, and I was having a think about it the other day. How long, when am I going to be able to get back and, and visit a lot of these people that I've, that I've made really good friends with? And it was, yeah, it was pretty sad thinking that it's probably not going to be as, as soon as I wanted it to be. Um, but I think it's like such st strong bonds that whenever we see each other or we'll, we'll make time um, in the coming years to, to make sure we get, get a hold of each other and uh, do a good catch up. But that's probably the main thing, just, just the people. People in the North are great. Uh, the supporters have been so special to me, especially when, when I, cause I'm leaving and just all the positivity that came from that is, is, is very, very nice to get um, and, and really positive from that. Yeah, I think for me, Especially, I've always felt the love and, and support, which is absolutely amazing. But I've 
sort of seen just walking around town or going out about out and about is there's actually the the fans are really growing around sale and the support's been amazing and I can see the stadiums filling up more often than not and um, yeah I just want to thank them and and keep growing it and I know the boys are going to take it forward but um, they've made me feel very comfortable coming here and not making me leave with a nasty taste in my mouth it, it, it's been great I really want to thank them for that um, all the positive messages that I've received um, which you don't really get from supporters when you leave a club so um, yeah that that means a lot to me and and my family because they read a lot of the stuff as well and it's been really really nice to see the parents got a bit emotional just reading the comments from the supporters so uh, yeah thanks for that what would you say the one thing you've learned about yourself since being a sailors I think something that I've, I like responsibility and having pressure or giving giving me a lot of things to do on the field or I, I, I felt like I when I got here sort of dimes gave me he's like just to do your thing and, and the boys must must react around you which which gave, gave me a lot of confidence and at one stage I think I was doing kickoffs and kicking for touch kicking for goal and kick and just doing all that and I think that I that was a big responsibility for me when I got here and sort of molded me really well. Um, I felt more like a leader than I've ever felt before and I think I've grown in, in that role. Um, and then living on my own for so long, you sort of need to grow up really quickly. I think uh, back home, a lot of things are done for us and um, over here, being in a new environment, not even knowing when, what times to take out the bins and postcodes and all that stuff that is completely different to what that, what we realize and I think that I've learned a lot through that and I can sort of channel that things down to the younger boys or the boys coming from South Africa um, but yeah I just think I've, I've grown up and hopefully into a, into a better man and, and was a boy when I got here and I think I'm a bit more of a man but older as well yeah. <laughs>